Russian turtle tanks could be breakthroughs in Ukraine. This is a dangerous moment. Fobs. Strange Russian tanks are increasingly being spotted at the front. T-72s with wide protective armor on top were called turtle tanks. They can probably be used for mine clearance. According to Forbes, all of the spotted turtle tanks belong to the 5th Motorized Rifle Brigade, a former separatist unit that is now under Russian command. Both Ukrainians and Russians tried to protect their tanks from drones and shells. For this purpose, protective cages or slats were used, which only slightly limited the rotation of its cannon turret. The armor in the turtle tank's shell leaves only a small gap in the front and prevents the gun from rotating. The obvious disadvantages of homemade armor raise questions. The turtle tank's role seemed to be to destroy it, said weapons scientist Matthew Moss Riley. These tanks likely serve as a breacher, a plow-equipped engineering vehicle whose main job is to guide other vehicles through a minefield to get them close enough to enemy lines to attack. It is assumed that the enemy will fire at the breacher, so the special vehicle is equipped with dense armor. The US Army has the best breakthrough vehicle in the world, a nearly 70-ton vehicle that is essentially an M1 tank without the gun and with mine-clearing equipment attached. At the end of last year, the Americans quietly gave the Ukrainians several of these assault breakers. The Russian Army does not have a breakthrough vehicle of the same class. Faced with the Ukrainian minefield and swarms of tiny FPV drones and without specially designed breaches, 5th Motorized Rifle Brigade technicians may have decided to create their own breaches. If the theory is true, the Russians took older T-72 tanks, perhaps ones whose turrets already had trouble moving, and added two things every vehicle needed to break through, extra armor and mine-clearing gear. It is difficult to verify the presence of the second component of the breakthrough in skull tanks because it is hidden behind the armor. Analyst Rob Lee of the Foreign Policy Research Institute in Philadelphia spotted a mine roller on one of these tanks. This is a set of durable wheels that activate the mines just ahead of the vehicle. This turtle tank, which was also the first of its type to have anti-drone equipment, continued to advance after driving through several mines. Lee noted, now only one turtle tank has been destroyed. It was hit by artillery after returning to the base after the battle on April the 8th. If there is any reason to fear for the long-term future of such tanks, it is that they are FPV protected. Russia will launch new offensive aimed to capture entire Donetsk and Luhansk in June. Ukraine. Russia intends to initiate a significant summer offensive in June with the objective of seizing the entirety of Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts, Kirill Budanov, head of Ukrainian military's main intelligence directorate, told the Washington Post. After that, Russians will focus on U.S. presidential elections in the fall, chief of the main intelligence directorate said. Before the inauguration of U.S. president, they will try to get as much territory as possible in Donetsk and Luhansk, he stated. Russians probably hope that Donald Trump will be able to ratify their achievements if he will be re-elected. American Institute for the Study of War wrote that Russian troops will likely continue offensive operations until spring of 2024 and prepare for a summer offensive on March the 23rd. In an interview with CBS News, President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that Russia could be preparing a counter-offensive in late May or early June. He said that Ukraine needs the help of its partners to prepare its brigades for enemy actions. According to Politico, Ukrainian military believes that during the summer offensive, Russia could push front lines in Ukraine in areas where it will concentrate its main forces. Bloomberg also reported, citing Western officials familiar with the situation, that Ukraine is in its most precarious position in more than two years of war waged by Russia due to a lack of ammunition, troops and air defense systems. The US and the EU are concerned that Russian forces may punch through Ukrainian defensive lines in the coming weeks. People familiar with the matter have told Bloomberg.
Ukraine also faces daily Russian missile, drone and bomb attacks that are knocking out key energy infrastructure and striking military positions due to its lack of air defences, according to Bloomberg. Because of this, concerns are mounting that Russia may make major gains in the coming weeks by punching through overstretched Ukrainian lines, sources in the US and Europe told the agency. Kirill Budanov earlier said that Russians were planning to intensify combat actions in late May and early June 2024.